Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone because a lot of you guys have requested it. You guys have been telling me. For me to do a what's on my iPhone, it was very requested. What's on my iPhone, what's on my iPhone. So I finally decided to do it. Finally going to do it for you guys because you guys have been, I guess, wanting to know what is on my iPhone. So here is the video. So let's just get started. Started. So when you first open my phone, you just see the time, day, the wallpaper, um, which I have like this light blue wallpaper with like these white polka dots. Then when you unlock my phone, you see the wallpaper, obviously. Um, I'm going to show you guys the left side. So here is just the little widget. Just a picture of me and my mom. It changes. But yeah, just that, the day, weather some news from the news app that i have so you see this little widget that i designed and it says the day the day the time and the percentage of my phone which i thought it was really cute and so basically it's called color widgets and i have that you can basically just customize your widgets it has all of these you can customize really really cute so i have that and then going on with the apps that i have so i have facetime just the regular facetime where i facetime my people <laughs> um i have calendar which is just the regular calendar you can see all the days i have productivity so these are the apps where it's kind of productive you know my emails gmails all of that so i have aol which is pretty simple you get it news yeah um gmail i have that i have mail um i have clock look at literally all the alarms i have set up yeah i haven't deleted one some of these alarms are to wake up to go to vacation to wake up for school i still have my school alarms um and yeah stopwatch timer you get it photos which i just have on my photos here i have a map which is just basically just maps help me around location you know all of that the weather app just tells me the weather of where i'm living because sometimes i want to know what the weather is and where i'm living how much temperature all of that i have the news app which basically just tells me all the news going around in the world yeah joe biden all of that and then when you keep going you swipe you see another widget it just has the little calendar with the the day the month everything like that the apps i have are notes where i just type in my notes um, when I go grocery shopping, I type them in for my mom and stuff. I have reminders, just basic reminders. I have none. I have Apple TV, iTunes Store. iTunes Store is just, you know, music you can purchase. I have stocks, health, home, app store, just the regular app store. If you want to go download anything, any games and stuff, this is where it is. Um, books, tips, podcasts. I don't really use these that often. Wallet, where I just have my cards and all that stuff. I have settings, just the basic settings that every iPhone has. I have contacts, files, find my iPhone, where if my iPhone gets lost or any of my devices get lost, I can find it with that. Shortcuts, Apple Watch, utilities, which... I have voice memos, compass, measure, and a calculator. Just the regular calculator. Two plus two equals four. Three plus one equals four. You get it. I have trend, um, which is basically just an influencer app. My Apple Store, Clips, Keynote, Numbers, Pages, iTunes U, Fitbit, which I use to track my Fitbit. It's telling me to log in again because I haven't used my Fitbit in a while. It tells me how much calories I burned, how much steps I've walked in the day, and just the basic stuff. Next, I have my social media, which is Pinterest. I just use it for ideas, you know, nail ideas. Um, I use it a lot for room ideas. Basically, this is what I'm trying to come up with. Just any ideas I'm thinking in my mind, I can find it there. TikTok, you should definitely go follow my TikTok if you haven't already. This is it, Kaylin.may. Um, if you want to go follow it, you can. I have Snapchat. So yeah, 
um a poshmark which i just started thinking of wanting to sell my old clothes on here but i don't know about that yet but i would definitely um start i have my instagram if you haven't followed my instagram yet go follow it it's kaylin maynard but kaylin with two n's and yeah you should definitely go follow it and i have facebook i mean i don't really use facebook so you guys don't have to follow me on there. I have What's Up. I have my music apps, which is Music, Spotify, and Pandora. That's the only music apps I have. I have my education apps, which I used to use last year when I was in online school. I had Socratic, Classroom, iTranslate, Teams, Outlook, Word, Math Papa, I no, not I translate. Translate, Mathway, Brainly, and Slater. Just the regular Socratic find the answers google classroom translate outlook just my emails brainly you can use that yeah i have my videos which i used to edit all my videos on i haven't edited a video on this phone in a long time but i do use imovie to edit them i have my working out app so i have shape it up workout woman and youth this is what it is it just tells you you know some meal plans fitness plans, you know, on diet, if you want to work out and stuff, if you want to work out and want to keep a healthy diet as well, it tells you that. I have Workout Woman, which basically shows you some workouts. Um, it has programs, just all of that. And Youth is another workout program that you can also join. And then I have Shopping, so all my shopping apps, Hollister, Amazon, I use Hollister a lot. So yeah, Amazon, this is my Amazon. I have Adika Shein. I love, love Shein. Probably one of my favorite shops to shop at right now. I have pretty little thing, Zaffo Fetch Rewards. So basically what Fetch Rewards is, is you basically scan receipts to get free gift cards. So I don't know if it's part of the shopping group, but I have it in there. So basically you just, go to snap a receipt and pretend this is the receipt so you just scan the receipt and then it gives you free gift cards currently i have 4736 points so that is great um i have urban outfitters which i haven't used in a long time i've actually never used it i have pink victoria's secret pack sun misguided and fashion nova i don't know why this group is called white but oh yeah for white apps but i have calm and google maps next i have color widgets to just design my widgets i have widget smith is also used for that motivation just gives me motivational quotes google home to control my little google i have over there sitting next to my bed um i'm pretty sure you guys know what it is but yeah i can just control the volume just control everything. You basically get it. I have Roblox, Shazam. I have Roblox right here. I haven't used it in a long time because I've been really busy lately. So yeah, I have Shazam. You know, if I'm wondering, hey, what is that music or song? What is that song? I can just go on Shazam, tap, and yeah. I have New Flash to just store some of my photos and videos on there in case I don't have storage i just import them on that app i have case to find in case i want to order some cute cases for my phone i have thummy to edit my thumbnails then going on i have minimalist which is just an app where you just put your list but but it's it puts it in like a minimalistic way so i really like that i have all my editing tools that i used to edit my instagram photos so i have color tune Keyboard Plus, Tezza, Visco, Prequel, and Fonts. I don't really use Visco that often, but if you want to go follow it, you can. It's Kaylin May. That's what it is. I don't really use Prequel that much. I downloaded it because I saw it on TikTok. But yeah, what I use the most to edit like thumbnails and like Instagram photos is Tezza. As you can see, um, all my photos are there from editing it. So um, I use that. Then I have Fonto, which is to also edit my thumbnails. I have Walgreens. I have Pixar also to edit my thumbnails. Basically, this is what it looks like. Just to add some little stickers or 
on my thumbnails and stuff, this is a really good app to use. So you just insert a picture right here and then you can add anything. I have Etsy, Wish, Free Stuff Finder, Shopkick, and then my food little group, I have Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, and McDonald's. Currently in Chick-fil-A, I have 331 points because I haven't been in Chick-fil-A in a while. So, um, yeah, I have my driver's ed apps, which all I have is Zootobi. I have Tubi, which is just like a free movie app. So you can find like free movies to watch and stuff. I have SB Live, which is a little like tonight show game a little bit. I have my YouTube apps, which obviously contains the YouTube app and YouTube Studio to just track all my YouTube and what's going on, comments, all of that. I have PayPal, Dabble, iHeartRadio, Discount, YOLO, Google Ads, and Authenticator. And then the last slide is Skyward to just track my grades. Right now, I'm not tracking my grades because I am on summer break, but um, I will need it in the future when I start the next school year, so I will need that. I don't know why that's not in the education group, but that should be in there. I have Brand Ambassador, Messenger, um, to just text my family sometimes, which basically tracks all your orders that you order, so I have that. And it tells me when it's gonna be delivered and all that. I have Over, which I used to use to edit my thumbnails, I'm pretty sure, but I stopped using it because it just like, it wasn't working out for me. And this is basically what it is. So it's just like that. Um, you can just use to edit templates, thumbnails, all of that, Instagram stories, just basically you get it. I have eraser, which if I need to erase a little like mistake I have in the background of, of my photo, that is what I use. I just use a little eraser and it's off. I also use that for my thumbnail sometimes, but I haven't used it in a while, so yeah. And then the last group I have is my game. So I just, well, Roblox is supposed to be in there, but um, like actual games, I have Cooking Fever, another cooking game, and Airplane Chefs. Literally, Cooking Fever is probably one of my favorite like cooking apps like game cooking apps. It's just so fun. Like I always used to like it as a little kid and I still love it. But in the bottom, I have my phone, I have Safari, I have messages and my camera roll. So that is it for this what's on my iPhone. I really hope you guys enjoyed what is on my iPhone because as I said earlier, this was a very requested video. So that is basically all that I have on my phone. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Bye.